Greetings, I'm Ike07 and today I will start a new tutorial series for Zimlet 2 where I'll explain how it works and how you can make your own mods for GTA. So, uh, first off we need to prepare our work layout. So as you can see, for me I have 3D view black and they are grey. These three. You need a back view, right view and top view. So you can change uh, the background color. I usually change because it's for easier for me. So you can just disable, and this is how you will get your zimmel there. When you just open it up, it will be white, and it's it's kind of hard to work when it's white background. You your eyes won't see uh, well. Well, so yeah, you can change your uh, color here. I pick this semi gray color and press OK and then affect to uh, same all same views and press OK and it will show all three, these three views uh, in gray color and here you just set to black color and here I have black, black, black color so it's easier for me to see the model and, and how to how, how how it looks like so let's start with the basic with the import so this here blue icon is for importing files so usually when you uh, open original some car or you don't know that you want to modify it what will you what would you do would be you press this button and you here press import so and you as you can see here's a list of missing textures and if you would export this model at this stage uh, in game it will be like this white under uh, white wheels and one white interiors and so and so and so uh, you don't want this you want so it's fully textured like it must be like it like you want to see it in the game so let me show how you can do it here the material editor of course you can add them manually each texture or you can uh, export all textures the same folder where it is DFF and then it will automatically import textures to uh, Zimbler as well here you can choose uh, which format you want to export uh, you, I prefer BMP but for this tutorials I will use DJ so it has alpha level in the Zimbler as well so we export them to the, the same folder where is your DFF. So you export. It should be t yeah yeah. Here's our textures we just export. So if we now close down and import it again, you'll see that there's still some textures mis missing. It it's a bit better but still it said some textures missing and that is what you don't want you want that it doesn't show that it, there's some there's any textures missing so let, let's close down again and now go to uh, Sandra directory models generic and here in this file called txd uh, in this txd file is all textures which is used by all Sandra's original cars here the light texture and, and, and crushed glass and the crushed the scratched side and so on. So what you want, you want to export them all to the same folder where is your DFF file and press OK. Now in this folder should be all the textures as well. So if you now import it, as you can see there is no error message which means it has all textures and now you're ready for the next step. Uh, license plate is white because Sunrus use its own engine to display the plates in just space where uh, the plate plate will be. I will show later on in the series how you can make a license plates. So this is our model. Now let's say you just want to. Uh, set another texture and export it so in this first part we'll just export it so here this red button export you press export and then you go to 
you can use uh, the same folder I will for this tutorial I will make a or yeah let's make new folder called original original and we export you don't need to do any of these at this stage at the exporting it doesn't matter with the, with what does it say here so and now when you export to and also make sure you export the sa same file name as you have here it's here it says sentinel dff so here is also sentinel and press export now if you op import it in the game it will show up like it's in here in the zemo there all right that's all for this tutorial if you liked press like button and subscribe if you want to see more of them bye